Now at 7, a local woman's warning for anyone who travels. How can you make sure all of the bags you check in before a flight make it in one piece? And what do you do if they don't? Yeah, a woman says her suitcase came back in pieces after flying overseas. She turned to News 6 investigator Adria Adriana Ivashinsky to get results. Adriana. Yes, I'm back, and this is something we all fear when we check in our bags, that they will either be lost, stolen, or broken beyond repair. And in Ariana Bartolotta's case, her suitcase got smashed into pieces. So I checked with a local travel expert to find out what you need to do to safeguard your stuff. This is supposed to be the hard case, and the plastic and I mean just all the different pieces smashed into pieces a hard backed piece of luggage smashed into pieces yeah we have a bedroom here Ariana Bartolotta lives in Orlando and says her dream vacation to Bali and then we have my room turned into a nightmare on the return trip home all because the luggage and one of a kind gifts she had inside came back looking like this and it's just sad because I specifically bought it so that this wouldn't end up happening. Ariana says this all happened after they switched their flight plans to come home a day earlier than planned. But when they arrived at the Orlando airport, their bags weren't there. She says the bag showed up two days later, wrapped in plastic, damaged beyond repair. Never in a million years would think that this would ever happen. Ariana says Delta never called to warn her or her friends about the damage and only offered them flight vouchers in return. She says all she wants is for Delta to pay for the damaged items. But she says Delta won't do it without a receipt. And Ariana says she doesn't have one. I paid cash for everything. Trips down to Havana. We consulted travel expert Amelia Rodriguez, who is with Travel Planners International in Maitland. She says all major airline companies require proof of purchase for replacement items to prevent fraud. Certainly if you can provide any type of receipts, uh, you know, that would be ideal because of course, people can absolutely lie through their teeth and say they've got a Rolex <laughs> that was in there. So that's that's what we would recommend, that you have pictures, receipts. Here are Amelia's top four tips to protect your stuff while traveling. Number one, try to book a direct flight. Number two, take pictures of the contents inside your bags. Number three, pack a carry-on bag. And number four, get travel insurance. Always buy travel insurance because even the smallest of trips, you know, can have their hiccups. Ariana says she wishes she had bought travel insurance for her trip and plans to do that in the future. As for her experience with Delta, she says after contacting us, Delta did send her a check for $357.50 in addition to the vouchers, but she says that's only half of what she spent on the luggage and the gifts. And she says to her, the vouchers are worthless. I don't want to fly Delta again at all. Now we did reach out to Delta and a representative with the company did confirm they need documented proof of purchase for all reimbursements. So make sure you always get some sort of a receipt or proof of purchase for whatever you buy. Delta also confirms they did apologize to Ariana for her experience and offered her that additional 350 bucks as a goodwill gesture and they appreciate her bringing her experience to their attention to improve their customer service. It's ridiculous to ask for receipts though when her luggage looks like that. I know, I mean, but that's, that's the only only way you're going to get yeah. stuff back. Wow. So really speechless. Frustrating. I know. Thank yeah. you, I know. Watch your stuff. Yeah. Take pictures mm -hmm. of it. It's the only way to protect it. Absolutely.